Ever since the Industrial Revolution, the average temperature of the Earth has been steadily increasing. We now have clear scientific evidence that this temperature rise has been caused by human activity. Carbon dioxide is emitted when we burn fossil fuels such as coal, oil, and natural gas, and it stays in the atmosphere for hundreds or even thousands of years. This CO2 acts a bit like a blanket, trapping heat close to the Earth's surface. This is a bit like how a greenhouse works, which is why this effect is known as the greenhouse effect. A small increase in the Earth's average temperature can have a big impact on our lives, especially if it also makes temperatures more variable, as climate change does. Together, these changes make extremely high temperatures much more common. Deadly heat waves that used to come around only once every few years could happen every month during the summer. Unusually high temperatures can make some places on Earth unlivable for humans. They also dry out the landscape destroying crops and making wildfires much more dangerous. And that's just one of the effects of climate change. A few degrees of heating will melt polar ice, raising sea levels and endangering coastal regions where over a billion people live. Many of these people will have to find new homes in other countries, which will likely lead to conflict and even war. Climate scientists predict that rising temperatures will also lead to more extreme weather events such as droughts, floods, and hurricanes. Global food production will suffer as climates change in different parts of the world. We've seen that turning up the Earth's temperature is a bad thing for almost everyone. But is there any way we can stop climate change? Our planet has already warmed up by about 1 degree Celsius, or 2 degrees Fahrenheit, since we started burning fossil fuels for energy. And we're on track for three times that by 2100. But we can still stop the worst effects of climate change if we act quickly. Since CO2 is the main cause of global warming, if we stop emitting CO2, we can slow down warming. Around 75% of CO2 emissions come from burning fossil fuels to generate electricity, run factories, heat our homes, and power cars, trucks, and planes. If we electrify our homes and transportation and switch to power generation methods that don't emit CO2, we can go a long way towards slowing down CO2 emissions. This is where renewable energy comes in. Renewable energy refers to sources of energy that don't emit CO2 and won't run out, unlike fossil fuels. Renewable energy technologies include wind turbines, hydroelectric power, and solar photovoltaics. The sun is an excellent energy source that won't run out anytime soon. Enough energy from the sun reaches the earth in one hour to power the world for a year, if we were able to harness it all. Solar panels can capture that energy and use it to provide clean power. Today, only a small fraction of the world's electricity is produced by solar panels, but that number is increasing rapidly. If most of the world's power could be produced with low carbon and renewable sources, we would have a good chance at stopping the catastrophic effects of climate change. To learn more about solar power and how SWIFT is helping to make all energy clean energy, check out our other videos at swiftsolar.com.